Right, we're gonna have to do all of this again, mate, because I didn't even start recording it. <laughs> That's all right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Would You Rather, <laughs> the podcast that sometimes gets recorded. It's about one thing. You choose one thing or the other. It's pretty self-explanatory. Please, please make this seem as though I haven't introduced you once before, Liam. Uh, this is Liam Walcott. Scooby Say hello. Do that. Scooby -dee -dee. <laughs> That's the first time I've said that today. <laughs> you know me. You know who I am. It's Liam, open my comedian. That's apparently what I am. Yeah, is that is uh, that what you would say that you are an open? Yeah, why queen? not? Yeah, yeah. Not a hobbyist. No. No. Cool. Cool. If I didn't do comedy, I would die from, uh, -huh. uh I don't know, not doing comedy. Yeah, like it's I'm, almost an addiction. Oh, yeah, I'm addicted to it. I feel like, you know, I get cold turkey when I don't do comedy, you know. <laughs> I'm kind of sweats. Uh, you know, I call up my comedy dealers. I walk down alleyways looking for men in trench coats that might have a mic on them. You know, yeah, yeah, or some contacts. Yeah, sounds good, man. Sounds good, and your uh, and and other stuff that we spoke about before as well. Yeah, uh, but no. you would consider yourself a comedian and not a hobbyist because, as mentioned before, um, you can like football and not be a footballer, mm. and go and play that at, I guess, a five-a-side. With your mates, which I get, I guess is the the same as like an open mic. Open mic is like five aside with your mates. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. You, you know, I don't so? play football. Oh, have you ever played a sport? Yeah, I'm not good at it. They used to um when we played football, they'd sort of be like, "Hey Liam, you just stand there and be a goalpost, and we'll just kick the ball at you." <laughs> I'd be like, "All right." <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad and you know like when they'd like throw you know when you play football at school and the goal was like your bags were on one side and then the other side make up a goal yeah yeah and i'd be standing there and then there'd just be a bunch of bags on the other side to make up you know so it'd be like bags are there this can't be true yeah it's true no, it isn't. No. That's a true that's, story. No, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> this is me we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you be a goalpost? No. Okay. <laughs> you went for it. That's the thing. Uh, yeah. Just to be involved. That's, just to that's, be included. That's quite I sweet. don't even like football. <laughs> but just to, just to, so when you came home and your nan wasn't like, you're a loser, Liam. I'm like, loser, I just got hit on today, Nan. <laughs> what, what are you done? <laughs> yeah. Have you ever successfully rebounded three shots at goal? I don't think you have, Nan. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's that's a lovely... I, we didn't say that before, so that's a lovely new bit that just came out of nowhere. Um, And we were going to do the poo-flavoured poo one, but I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to do it. All right, because we started having a conversation about it, and um, and it's it's yeah, it sucks now. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. I noticed we'll... where you were going with the limb, and it wasn't funny, so we ain't doing. No, it. no, that's not it at all. I just, I just, it's been we've been thrown off of our whole. Uh, what's yeah, it was a shit question anyway. It was a bit of a shit question, literally and just yeah, generally. Um. Okay, uh, right, so would you rather uh, meet the love of your life and only have four months with him or her before she Ooh. or he or they uh, or dies in a car crash, car crash or never meet him, her or them and you will never meet anyone else to take her place? Their mm. place. So it's like be alone... Or not be alone and feel heartbreak. Yeah. Uh, probably the heartbreak. I think I'd get over it. You think? Yeah. Have you ever loved Liam? Yeah. Yeah, I've loved. Yeah, how was that? It was 
it, uh, I enjoyed it at the time. <laughs> Talking about it can get me cancelled, apparently. <laughs> so I've heard. So I'm not going to go on about it. But uh, <laughs> no, no, yeah, this is a safe, safe space. Yeah. I mean, no one can leave the room and ask for their money back. True, very true. But um, you know, I mean, I don't wish for her to die in a car crash. No. To no. No, so you thinking, don't sound 100% on that. Uh, uh, there were times. <laughs> what, while you were with her or just after? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, maybe I should drive today. <laughs> don't know how to drive, Liam. I'm like, and in my head, I'm like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But she had a kid, so, you know. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah. mate. So that would be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit some red pill wisdom on you now. <laughs> All right. I'm about to Andrew Tate you. You ready? Give me advice. You I don't need fuck it. bitches that have got kids, and that's the advice, man. Oh. Uh, what was that? <laughs> you don't fuck bitches. Oh yeah. That yeah, have yeah. got kids. That's the. And you don't stick it in people that are crazier than you are. Yeah, that must have been quite a yeah. quite a craze. Mm. Yeah, I know. You'd think I'd be hard pressed to find someone nuttier than me, but <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> um yeah, I think maybe the four month one as well, to be honest with you. Yeah, because you know they say it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Yeah, I prefer the one where they say it's better to love and know they're going to die in a four months in a car crash hmm. because then you can get life insurance. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a better saying, in my opinion. And you know how like men are always like, oh, I was in this chick's first. You know, we always got to live with that, assumably, in a relationship. But if this happens, you will always know that you were the last. Yeah, unless... Unless know. they were cheating on you in the car, and that's how they crashed. That's Just right. Just like in um, that Neil Gaiman book, was it? American Gods. Ah, did you ever watch the um, the adaptation on... Uh... Uh, yeah, I watched um, season one. Yeah, it was a bit crap, to be fair. Yeah, the book was better. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually climactic, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> no, the book was better. Um, yeah, oh, no. The song. Uh, oh, you, you haven't heard the song. Never heard the song. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> Even better, yeah. Yeah, books just don't live up to the songs. That's a good point. But then I find. movies very rarely live up to the books. Exactly. Which means that movies don't live up to the songs either. No. So they failed on two and three genres. Yeah. Those useless. Um. I watched the Tom Sawyer film the other day, and the song by Rush wasn't even in it. I'm like, <laughs> what am I watching this for? <laughs> <laughs> My American uh, hero. <laughs> that film. Yeah. Do you reckon you could add that to the bit, the film? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that might make people laugh more. It's a good bit. I think people some people uh, just don't, don't understand it. I really I I I'm a big fan of your stuff anyway. But um, oh, thank you. um and you killed it the other day in Basingstoke. I did. So, yeah. Salisbury last night didn't quite get me as much. But uh yeah, I'm still hotting on that Basingstoke gig. Yeah, but it's nice because you continue to go for it. Like, uh, I find that if I'm in the middle of a joke and it's not doing too well, I, I crumble. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was doing my um, dog bit last night and they just weren't running with it. And I was I was going to the bit where I talk about Neil and the, him being a pedophile. And I was like, I'm still going on with this bit. And they laughed more at me saying that. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, because like, you... You put I'm attention to the it. fact that you know it's not working, and then, yeah. uh, but you're like, I've got, I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna do yeah. it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm doing this for me. Yeah, clearly, yeah. no, yeah, good my... for you, good for you, man. Um, 
But no, I, yeah, I agree with you. I think it's better to have loved and lost. Like, uh, yeah, because then you can play the sympathy card with the next one. You'd be like, oh, my heart's so broken, and I'm. A... Well, that yeah, and it's no and... one will ever fill the void. And then some barista will wink at you, and you're like, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how low the bar is. Like, <laughs> maybe from... my wall is crumbling. I don't know. Maybe you're the one. <laughs> from the love, from the love of your life. To a barista winks at you. I mean, I've <laughs> gone through three car crashes this year. I think not happen again. <laughs> Surely not. You just get investigated for getting progressively rich on yeah. <laughs> life insurance. Uh um yeah and plus well if your love of your life dies it doesn't stipulate that you will never be with anyone else ever again. Yeah, but if you never if you never meet part. anyone then you're just never with anyone anyway. And, yeah, you know. But if that doesn't even make sense, because if you never met her in the first place, then how are you ever going to meet anyone that would take her place, mm-hmm. you know, to not take her place because you never met her in the first place? Yeah, that's a good point. It's counterintuitive. Um, it is. But I'm guessing what, yeah, that is stupid. Well, what you got to remember is... Um, as I'm sure you've heard, because you've listened to this. Yeah, movie. yeah, these are written by a um, forty-year-old like me about ten years ago. Yeah, because I'm twenty-four years old. Are you? <laughs> no, <laughs> we're the same age. <laughs> I think you're exactly. I think you're about a month older than I am. You look younger than me. Yeah. Can you grow a beard? No, no. I grow like hairy mole, so I'll grow like hair there. Yeah, yeah, and like a faint moustache. I tried for like months and just nothing. So I was like, "Nah, I won't do that." Again. Uh, you just end like, up looking I, like a carp. Yeah, sometimes like I was, I did have a phase where I'd grow like a moustache and a goatee, and I'd have like a rapier sword thing, and I would pretend to be like French. <laughs> but uh, the ladies just went into it. <laughs> Like, really, I can't imagine why. Be like, oh, for one, and they'd be like, what the fuck? get out of here. And then they'd be like, one for all, yeah. and then like use Texas Smash or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you get me. Yeah, I get you, man. I get you. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm guessing it just means that you don't find anyone else. Yeah. And you're just lonely for the rest of your life. Yeah. I wouldn't want to go through that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go with meet your meet your missus, meet your maker. Let your missus meet her maker. Someone's meeting their maker. Yeah, sixty three percent of people agree. All right. All right. Would you rather shave your mum's bikini line or shave your dad's ass? This is a weird incestual part of the show that always seems to come down to. It always comes out. It's always here. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, Psychoanalyze Liam time. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Kind of easy question. Like, my dad's been sadly passed for a long time. So I think it'd be easier to shave his ass. Yeah. Did he... Did, did, did he... Did he get buried or burnt? He was cremated. Ah, uh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be really difficult then, so you'd have to glue him back together to shave his ass. Yeah. yeah. Or like Ouija brought him back to life. Like maybe get some necromancer. <laughs> be like, hey man, uh yeah, I've got a job for you. Uh, can you bring my dad? He died many years ago. I just want to see him again. Because I love my dad. And he's like, okay, dude, you know, I I'll help you out. I will do this for you because you seem to really care about this. And I'll bring my dead zombie dad. He'll be like, Liam, it was so good to see you again. I'm like, yeah, bend over, bitch. I just got a razor. <laughs> just, this is what I wanted to do. <laughs> what happened to you, Liam? You used to be such a sweet boy. <laughs> Fuck, let me shave your dead ass, you dead hairy, rotten asshole. <laughs> This is just, just so I don't have to shave mum, all right? You're getting back into that grave once it's done, and we ain't asking questions. 
<laughs> this is just so I don't have to shame mum. You want him to know that you it's not because you want to be telling now <laughs> that I did this. <laughs> He's just there afterwards with his mates and hell, and they're all giving. Like, you never guess what my son fucking up to it. They're like, yeah, it happens all the time. <laughs> Apparently, it's a would you rather question. Yeah, would you rather? <laughs> my son woke me up from the dead just to stop from fingering his mum. <laughs> <laughs> and he raped me. I don't, know, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't think that was possible anymore. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> so shave your dad's ass, I think is the Yeah. I uh you know, I have a good relationship with my mom, not that good, and I don't ever want it to be. I think <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, I no, that's a fair you. point. I don't yeah, know how you feel about your mum. Uh, I I could I I've got a good relationship with my mum and exactly. I don't I don't want it to be that. Good. I don't think any man will want to do that. Mm, no, no. I mean, my mum. I love my mum, but let's, she ain't no Stacy's mum. <laughs> she hasn't got it going on. She ain't got it going on. What I never understood about that is Stacy in the video is like amazingly beautiful. And yeah. then her mum's obviously nice as well, but it's like, what? Why won't you just go for Stacy? Like, yeah, she's super into you. Yeah. And the well, mum's is... like 20 years older than you. Yeah, she doesn't give a shit. No. If she's showing some kids, like, her her naked breast or something, then who else is she showing it to? What is wrong? Where is Stacy's dad in this whole situation? I don't know. Is he doing nothing? He's just being cuckolded by a young boy. <laughs> And the dude, and the kid's like, mm, I don't like people my own age. I really get the horn for statutory rapists. That's yeah. What, what is what is going on? Because it's in America, and that kid's yeah. not eighteen yet. So yeah, uh, I wouldn't. I don't know, man. I don't know. Look at you, Stacey's mum. <laughs> Look at you, Stacey's mum. I feel like, I don't know. Well, I don't know where the dad was and all that. I feel like he should be doing better. Yeah. Like at least protect your your woman and your daughter, for that matter. Like, what sort of person lets a perv like that come into their house? Is she so? Is she not with the dad then? So he's not like watching the music video, being like, "Who's this kid singing songs about my wife?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he sees it on TV. Yeah. He's like, well, he's right. Stacy's mum does have it going on. Yeah. And Stacy's dad's going to get in there later on. <laughs> yeah, that, that could have been the sequel. That could be. Stacy's dad. Get in there later <laughs> on. Gonna get in there later on. Stacy's dad <laughs> in there later the, the, on. But the irony is that he's fucking Stacy's nan. Oh, yeah. Stacy's nan, she's got it going on. Stacy's mum's mum, she's got <laughs> yeah. it going on. <laughs> Stacy's my mum, oh, can you see? You're not as flexible as your mum. <laughs> it's stiff competition, Stacy's mum's mum. <laughs> she's on her way out, but I'll give her a good time. Stacy's mum's mum, gonna <laughs> come up after school. <laughs> <laughs> after school and he goes over and it's just he goes to a nursing home and... yeah. <laughs> flowers right? how long has your husband been dead <laughs> <laughs> he's watching like the carer's sponge out and it's like you he's know, not dead well, he's got Mike... parkinson's over oh, there yeah. <laughs> it's feeling like a michael bay porn film and he's like whoa <laughs> you know, in the slow mo and everything. She's like, let me put my teeth back in. Oh. He's like, you don't have to. And he's like, <laughs> leave them out. Leave them out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shave your dad's ass. I think that's pretty yeah. good. What do you reckon the percentage is gonna be? It's gotta be the dad, right? And nobody wants to Shave their mum's bikini iron. I reckon it's going to be closer to 50-50 than you think. I'd just be like, mum, epilate for crying out loud. 
yeah, fifty-eight percent of people mm. would uh, would do that. Um, um, well, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even. How know. do those two things correlate? I don't know. I don't know. Um, kill a. Would you rather kill a black man with a tiny penis? All right, or shag a dog with a large penis. All right, so what situation is this? Is this like Liam Neeson is walking around Ireland, he's all angry, he's like, I'm going to, you know what he said. And then he finds a black man, presumably with a tiny penis, who's like, I'm going to kill this man. But then immediately regrets it. He's like, Liam, what are you, you know, not me, not me, Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do this. <laughs> I love black men. <laughs> even even with tiny penises. Yeah, even with tiny penises, the tinier the better. <laughs> you know. Uh, part of me thinks part of me thinks that because um there's the stereotype that black men have big penises, right? Mm. I feel like maybe killing the one with the tiny penis is a mercy killing. You, you know, think? because he's gone his whole life and people have expected him to be hung and every time he's gotten it out. Expected him to be hung? What, because he's black? It's <laughs> yeah. fucking disgusting, Sam. <laughs> so racist. His, uh, his penis. He is very Chris was right. Oh, have my a, God. Have a hung penis, you fuck. <laughs> you just set me up there, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Dan thinks that all black people should be hung. No, no. 2024. No. Uh, you go back. Whoever's listening to this, you go back and listen to it again, because I did <laughs> not say that. This fuck. All right. <laughs> Anyway, what I was saying is Liam Neeson will regret it, see that the black guy has a dog with a large penis and fucks it, and the black guy's like, what? And Liam would be like, I didn't have any alternative. I don't know. That was That's right, yeah. That's yeah. where I was going with that. Well, again, I can't help but feel like maybe you're doing the guy, the black guy a favour because he's 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 tried to put up with this racial stereotype for his whole life. Mm. And he he can't do it anymore, and he just wants people to know that sometimes black men do have tiny penises, and and they can't, and they won't know. So he'll you're going to give him a mercy killing, and he's going to be like, please let the world know that it was because not all black men have big penises. And right. then you're kind of like he's a martyr, and you're a bit of like a savior type rather than you know just killing savior, so killing a black guy. Well, no, the just the you know the. <laughs> no, no, officer. You don't understand. <laughs> he had some penis. I was helping him. <laughs> I was, I was helping him. He asked me to do this. He yeah. asked me. Yeah. He told me that he hasn't been laid in months, and all his mates are taking the piss out of him. So I just shot him in the face. <laughs> this is, this is definitely how serial killers rationalise things. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> no, I'd shag a dog. Yeah, I'd, I'd shag the dog as well, because I'm not going to kill a guy. I don't care if he's black with a tiny penis or whether he's white with a massive one. I don't want to kill a guy. No, I'd shag the dog. I'd end up on, I don't know, Jerry Springer. Mm -hmm. And then this guy shags dogs. This guy I'd shags like, Springers. Oh. And then Jerry would be like, ah. And yeah. you'd be like, no, Keep no. away from me. Springer Spaniels, Jerry. I'd be like, like, not oh. you, Jerry, you freak. I shag poodles and dogs and things. <laughs> you know, I don't want to have sex with you. Yeah, you're gross. And then, and then the guy after me would be a, the black guy with a tiny penis, and it would be laughing at him, and I'd be like, "Oh, that's my mate." <laughs> you don't laugh at him alone. Yeah, it's not his fault. It's and he'd come that... on and stab him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not with the dog's penis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, at least I'm fucking that dog. <clears throat> be like, and then the dog died uh, after it shagged you. And then you re you you repurpose the penis and you give it to the black to guy. To the man. Yeah. yeah. And it yeah. all comes full circle in the end. And then it really is the dog's bollocks. I'm like, dude, you're my dog, man. <laughs> is it racist to say that? I don't know. What's up, dog? No, I think that's dog. Like, I think that's a vernacular from the I don't know where from, to be fair. But I'm pretty sure like Eminem says dog and he's yeah. Well, I don't know if he does anymore because he's like 60 years old, but when he was in 8 Mile, in 8 Mile, he said it. Mm. 
Um, yeah, so let's let's bang the dog right in the butt. Bang it in the butt. That's the thing. The dog's got a big penis, but it doesn't say whether you receive the big penis. Yeah, you could just be giving him a blowjob. Or... Plus, the do- it doesn't say if it is the dog's penis either. It could just have a large penis in its mouth, mm. just like holding it and ripped it off of someone. You could get motorboated by the dog's tiny nipples. Nice. <laughs> exactly. Be more like a pedlo, wouldn't it? Mm. Um, 64% of people. Yeah, that's a surprising amount of people that would kill the black guy. I'm going to be honest. The surprising amount of racist people. Maybe they just, maybe they're not racist. Maybe they're just penisist, you know, small yeah. penis, sizes. Uh, maybe it's the black brothers. Like, you're not part of our clan. You're not part of our clan. <laughs> okay. I just I what, what you're I not said. gonna let them into the clue class? You are yeah. fucking disgusting, mate. You're disgusting. You are so racist. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's no implications. <laughs> I'm in group. Like minded, uh, big, large penis men. Oh yeah. Yeah. But they just, just they like everyone except people with small penises. Yeah, and and but you're not in you're not you you just go there. Which wouldn't not. be the Ku Klux Klan because they're famous for having small penises. So ah. not that I'd know because I'm not a member. Yeah, sure. Yeah. They don't make you a member, they just make you pretend to be the cross. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Would you rather? Oh yeah, no, yeah, I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just stand <back>. there. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather uh, sit on a train for four hours to get to your destination, or sit on the same train but give someone of the opposite sex manual stimulation for five minutes after which you immediately arrive? So sit on the train. And not give someone an orgasm or sit on a train and give someone an orgasm. Well, it just says manual stimulation, so it doesn't necessarily mean an orgasm. Could you could stimulate them in a different way. I could be pissing them off. Yeah. yeah. You 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 could provide a stimulus of being annoying. Mm. And I think you often do that. Yeah, I was gonna say Four, five minutes like... at a time, so I've been told. <laughs> I feel like you'd be better at that than you would at making somebody orgasm. <laughs> I've been told that. I've been told, yeah? Yeah, mm. me too, mate. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Specifically, they say, you d- don't make me orgasm. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Give okay, me but let's, let's change it a bit. Let's say that you do, right. it is a sexual stimulation. The sexual one. Right. And it's not just the opposite sex. It's with like one of those people from my 500 pound life. Mm, like a big person yeah yeah that's complained about oh why do i have to buy two chairs on a train and you're i like, mean they'd need a whole fucking uh carriage, carriage if they were 500 pounds yeah. and you gotta get underneath the folds and give it a lick but you get or to where you're going just five have minutes. a regular time on a train yeah Like, I've spent four hours on a train many times. I live on trains. But if you could have been there in five minutes from giving somebody's fatty back crease... uh, uh... All right. So, like, saying, like, oh, I've got a... I'm at Edinburgh Fringe. Oh, this train journey's going to take forever. Oh, but if I lick this fat guy, I'll get there in five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, be- although, when push come to shove, I don't know if I'd be able to. Mm. Yeah, because everybody would be like, oh, Liam, how do you get here so quick? I'm like, I'd rather, I'd rather not say. <laughs> I'd rather not say. But they said that the train was going to be several hours. Um no. Yeah. Oh, did they? Only two people on my train, mate. <laughs> Me and that other guy I'm not talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Who was driving the train? Oh, it don't matter. It don't matter. Me and that other guy that ran a train. 
Yeah, I ran a train on that guy's. <laughs> that guy on the train. Yeah. My tongue was the meat to his fat sandwich. Mm. <laughs> his trainception. Trainception. <laughs> I'll be playing on that man's mind. <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. Um, um yeah, I think it's the it's the five five yeah. minutes. Isn't it? It's the gross, quick way to get places. Oh wow! Most people would do the four, the train, just stay on the train for four hours. Well, they obviously haven't needed to get anywhere in a hurry, have they? Obviously not. You know, obviously not. Would this one doesn't even make sense? Would you rather a chair for a hundred years or a blackboard for a hundred years? What? I don't, I don't know. Is this, would I rather be a chair for a hundred years or be a blackboard for a hundred years? What's that even mean? Let's go with that. Okay. Um, I'd rather be a chair. Well, all the farts. Yeah, but yeah, you could have some hot women. I'm not, you know, or hot men or hot people, or attractive people. Yeah, but even if hot people <laughs> fart on you, it's still people farting on you. You think? Yeah, I yeah. You're a blackboard, and people are writing on you all day, you know? I feel like that would be like when... Yeah, but did you, did you ever have it where somebody would, like, get their finger and then they'd, like, write on your back with their finger? Oh, I'd hate that. Oh, I'd like that. Uh, well, I'd like it if it was an intimate setting, but we used to do that at school, and I'd be like, Ugh. you know? Yeah, but imagine somebody writing Liam... And then it's part of the blackboard that's your penis. <laughs> oh. Well, you didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like blackboards don't get any credit, you know, like Goodwill Hunting or something. Like if Matt Damon wrote his equations on the blackboard, nobody goes, oh, well, give it up to the blackboard. Oh, my God, this blackboard's a genius. <laughs> no, they said, oh, there's probably that fucking janitor. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the blackboard did do a third of the work, didn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't take him. And, you know, he didn't get laid. He didn't get laid. He didn't get he laid, Robin Williams. He might have done. Mm. You don't know. Robin well, Williams did. Well, huh? But that'd be the worst thing about being a chair, wouldn't it? Or oh, someone sticking chewing gum on you. Oh, yeah, I'd hate that. But yeah. people stick chewing gums on blackboards too, don't they? Do they? I don't know. There aren't really any blackboards anymore, are there? They've all got <laughs> smart boards and that. No, like, I remember my teacher, when I was in secondary school, was quite infamous for having a blackboard. It was like one that sort of rolled up like that because they were out of fashion and we were doing, you know, like the projectors at that point. <clears throat> but he still wanted to go old school. And I'm like, fuck that blackboard, I'd rather be a chair. Oh, see, I always sat on the chairs and thought, these chairs are gross, man. They've got writing on them. They've got stink of farts. They've got chewing gum. That's had all the flavour taken out of it, so it doesn't even cover up the smell of the farts, you know? Yeah. So... I think we've got a split decision here. I think I'd rather be a blackboard. But as you're the guest, we'll go. No, all your... right, okay. What happens if you're a blackboard and someone drew a tiny penis on it? Well, what happened then? People could do the same on a chair. Oh. Difference is with the blackboard is you do it in chalk and you can rub it off. But on the chair, they usually do it with a pen. What colour's the chair? Blue. Oh, it's not even a black chair. No. That's not cool. And I'll be a blackboard. See? It's a black chair, but it's got a tiny penis and you have to kill it. Well, that's where I was going with the board. <laughs> Is it? You didn't pick up on it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll go with the blackboard. Yeah, go on the blackboard. People draw massive penises on it all day. Shifty Street. night. Most people agree with the blackboard, man. All right. Um, have sex with a cow. Would you rather have sex with a cow or sex with a pig? Mm. Should 
tricky question. I feel like I might have done one of these. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I feel like you might have done one of these as well. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think logistically it'd be much easier to have sex with the pig. Yeah. That's where I was going with it. And apparently we share a lot of intimate mental things with pigs. But at the same time, apparently pigs can get a lot of diseases from other animals and pass them on to us. So maybe there's some animal STDs we don't know about. We mm. fuck a pig and then, oh, look, we got super chlamydia, pig chlamydia, which is a worse than AIDS. Yeah, but Dave... We didn't even know about it. Didn't David Cameron fuck a pig? Oh, he's fine. Yeah, it's yeah he got famous. Maybe fucking pigs makes you... Prime Minister. Yeah. Fuck a pig, become Prime Minister. That's mm. pretty much the slogan. Yeah, I've never seen anybody um, become a celebrity from fucking a cow. See? That definitely wasn't an episode of Black Mirror. So, yeah, maybe... Yeah, maybe I should fuck a pig. Maybe but, that's going wrong. Also, I feel like have you seen a have you seen a pig's penis? Yeah, isn't it supposed to be it's like uh, a corkscrew? Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is crazy. And that orgasm, so I've been told by our good friend, would last forever. Yeah, I wonder if you get to share that though. If you fuck the pig, like, do you get half the orgasm or? Well, like fifteen minutes of the orgasm. Yeah. Like you get to experience what a fifteen-minute orgasm feels. I feel like. It would start to hurt or something. There's no way you, you're yeah, in pure ec ecstasy for 15 minutes. No, you'd have to get bored of it, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, you'd have to get on with your day at some point. You can't, like... No. But what are the benefits of having sex with a cow? Got better tits. Yeah. You ever seen Tom Green suck off one of those things? Yeah, yeah. He's, he enjoyed it. He did. He did. I don't know if it's safe. I, I wouldn't expect so. Because sometimes I see... I've seen cows and they've had, like, their own shit all over their udders. Yeah. And it's like... You know, I I'd, I'd ask the cow to take a shower first, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. But I like, get in there. I'm paying you until after you have a shower. That's like the ultimate ass to mouth, isn't it? It's mm. like a, it's like getting a girl to suck your dick after you've stuck it in her ass. Mm. You know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. Play. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to a cow. No, I wouldn't do that to a cow either, or a pig. No, maybe a human. But yeah, a human. I'd give it a good think. <laughs> You know, when you're so horny, it's like nothing matters anymore. <laughs> like, you grow up young and you have all these things. You're like, I wouldn't do that. No, I wouldn't do that. That'd be gross. But then you become an adult and you're horny and you're like, ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah. And no. then you're like, and then you were like, and then you do it and you're, and you're like, yeah, I was right when I was a kid to think that that was gross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Like dancing with someone at a club, taking them home and going down on them after they've been sweating all night. Yeah, not a good idea. Big old stank. Big old stank. Uh, <laughs> should have just stopped the cows. <laughs> should have just, yeah. You're just there like, oh, oh God. <laughs> you just think of Betsy and yeah. get through it. All your mates in Eaton, like, well, how are you doing, Sam? Are you still picking up those birds in the clubs? You haven't fucked that pig yet. You'd be here in Eaton with us if you'd just fucked that pig. Just fuck the pig, man. Just fuck the yeah. pig. That's your initiation. It's weird, isn't it? Like, you go to Eaton and these posh people are, like, fucking animals and then, then they become, like, rich and they go and fuck kids. Yeah. I don't get how that's like the next step to anything. Yeah, man. 
Neither do I. I always feel like those people are just so powerful and they've done everything and experienced everything. They're like, well, what next? And it's like the only thing their brains can comprehend going to. Yeah, yeah. Whereas a reasonable person would go, but why? That's so disgusting. Why would you do that? Yeah, well, that's why. That's that's why. Like, they'll go hunt like Bengal tigers and stuff, and mm -hmm. eat the last sea otter that ever lived because they're because like, they, oh, because yeah. I can, and then I can. Like, and who are you to tell me not to? Yeah, yeah. What else should we do? Oh, we should all go and fuck kids. That'd be cool. Hey, I was up for killing the otters and the tigers. <laughs> and then you get disbanded from the group because you're not up for fucking kids. They're like, oh, you're weird, man. Why don't you want You're to weird. Kids? You are not invited to a owl burning tribune in the woods next week. Yeah, you're not coming to our island. Yeah. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> I regret... I will do it. No, no, it's too late. No, it's too late. More no kids, kids for us. You. <laughs> you are um, discommunicated with Nambla. I reckon. I reckon. Sex with a pig. Then I'm going to go for. Yeah. Yeah. Sex with a pig. How would you woo a pig though? Like that. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever read a comic book? <laughs> Have you ever read a... I've got 50,000 of them. i got a whole barn full of them. Nah. We can wallow in its pages together. My, my bed sits a sty, man. <laughs> that will really turn a pig on. Yeah. Sty, sweet sty. All right. Let's go for... Have sex with a pig. 52%. It's pretty close. So 48% of people would go for the cow. Isn't it? I don't know if you heard about this. Talking about pedophiles. Yeah. Have you heard about the unicorn conspiracy? No. My ex told me about this. She says apparently unicorns are like, they're sort of like, say like Nambla had a logo, it would be the unicorn. It's like their way of sort of getting into the cultural zeitgeist, right? To be like, hey, we're not so bad after all. And she's like, Liam, once you know that, you'll start seeing unicorns everywhere. And she's right, they are everywhere. I'm not saying she's right about the paedophile thing. That sounds a bit far-fetched. Wait, if there's, not... if there's paedophiles use unicorns? Yeah, to sort of get into that cultural zeitgeist. Like that's the, you know, lion. I don't know. That sounds weird. Yeah, I i don't give credit to it. Seems like a bit of a stretch as well. Yeah, I know. But then if it comes out as true... <clears throat> but now that I've told you this, you will literally see unicorns all over the place. They're like... Really? It's its weird. Um, I was going to... Well, not make a bit about it, but it's something I've noticed. There's like little things like that that are creeped into our cultural zeitgeist. We have... You know, we, we didn't ask for them to be there. Nobody seems to give a shit about them, but we all got to act like they do. And it's like unicorns, gonks. Did you know what a gonk was five years ago? I don't know what it is now. It's like a Scandinavian known thing. They're everywhere. They're all over the place. You know, at Christmas, you get that gong with a big hat and a beard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's that. That's a gonk, is it? Yeah, that's a gonk. They're all over the place. They're everywhere. Go into a shop, you'll find one. Uh, cheese plants. Middle-aged white women love cheese plants all of a sudden now. Cheese, do you know what? You said They're cheese everywhere. plants. You said cheese plants, and then I thought you. I thought the next thing that you said was middle-aged white women. I thought yeah, you were like, They're They're in the Where did they come from? I don't know. <laughs> Every time I go and get a coffee, they're all over the place, <laughs> holding up the line for like half an hour. I like. I don't care if you want a skinny pumpkin. Where do you come from? <laughs> How do you get it? Anyway, sloths, they're another one. What slots? Yeah, sloths are all over the place. Oh, sloths. Sloths, yeah. Um... My ex used to call me a sloth, and then that's all I saw. I'm like, yeah, they're a thing. Why are they a thing now? I don't know. People like sloths, don't they? I don't know why. Yeah, I know. 
But do they, though? Or are they sneaking that into the cultural zeitgeist to trick us into thinking everybody likes slobs? Surely they like, like can't. Guns. Just like can't. Surely you just... can't yeah. make someone like a sloth. No, but then I guess it's just marketing, isn't it? Because if you see something um, around a lot, the idea is is that I've seen it a lot, so it must be right for me, you know? Yeah. Like praise unicorns. On, praise on the old system of uh of like omens, of like good mm. omens and stuff like that. Yeah. If I keep seeing this thing, I should do this. Well, that's how it works, right? You you go into the store. You're buying a unicorn, then the creepy guy behind the counter is sweating. You know, he's like, I see you like unicorns. Well, <laughs> I've got someone in the back you might like if you like unicorns. And then, bam, that's how the shit happens. You become a billionaire. You're on an island just because you bought a unicorn. It seems like a... I think there'd be a lot of people out there that would that would buy, go and buy a unicorn right this moment and just be like, yeah, that's... This is what they said on the Would You Rather podcast. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> am I am I a pedophile now? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys know what they're talking about. Look, one yeah, yeah, yeah. One that Liam guy, he's a uh, Cat Williams of his generation. <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows what he's talking about. He knows, man. He knows. He's not unhinged whatsoever. No, no. I've adopted eight children. <laughs> they live in my bed set. No, no, he's all right. Kevin is all right. <laughs> yeah, no, he's cool. Um, I'm not going to do this one because it's boring and shit and crap. I have sexy big tits. Oh, right. okay. So, all, right. Yeah. all right. Would you rather bungee jump off the Empire State Building with a plane rope tied to your balls? Oh, Jesus. All right, you, land safely on the tr you land safely on a trampoline mm -hmm. and live out the rest of your life in misery after they've been ripped off okay. which is what i've always wanted to do okay or remove That's both fine. your eyes in front of your family otherwise they'd be gassed like oh, Holocaust. For... Oh, oh jesus god. christ oh, god <laughs> so it's loses my ball eat both sets of balls hmm. um or all right, who in this situation would rather have their testicles ripped off by an aeroplane than watch their family die in the Holocaust? Would anyone want that? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. I poke out my own eyes, I don't care. Yeah, because if you poke your eyes out, you get to keep your balls. As yeah, well. and you know, Daredevil seems to have a pretty chill time. Yeah, he did all right, didn't he? He did all right. His family didn't die in the Holocaust. They got killed by gangsters. Yeah, which wasn't as bad. No. Yeah. See, so, so if I, we're going for this one, your family don't die in the Holocaust, and you get to keep your balls and you just have to remove your eyes. And the other one is you keep your family, you lose your balls and you're miserable for the rest of your life. Mm. Why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be saving your parents from the Holocaust, is not it? Yeah. Either way, you're not seeing your family again. Ah, um, that's true. Skibbity do. <laughs> Skibbity, my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> that's for you, Jack. My eyes. Yeah. Could you imagine? I can't imagine this is going to be very high on the other side. You'd think the only reason people would choose the other one is to be like edgy, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Yeah. People, are, yeah, I always forget that people aren't thinking this out like the same way that we are. Yeah, I don't think people get existential on every question quite like we we, we do. No, and I don't think people are. I don't think people are, are playing it like this. They're probably just going for the one that sounds the funniest. Yeah.
<laughs> which is why they picked the horror coast one. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, it's the shock humor in it, isn't it? It's like, yeah. uh, like why didn't um, Shinra's list not win comedy of the year? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Good film, though. Good film. Yeah. I laughed all the way through it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Not funny. That was a tragedy, mate. Yeah. It's a tragedy. You piece of shit. <laughs> so, was that supposed to be normal? Like, oh, that terrible tragedy. <laughs> Reminds me of that. Dang. That was what it was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that's what you're doing. All right, let's go. What is it? Yeah, wow. Okay. 41% of people would uh, would choose to have their balls ripped off. Mm. How many of them are women, though? Uh, with balls. Mm. Well, I mean, how many women have chosen it and been like, well, I don't have balls, so... Oh, you think women are playing this other than you and Shannon that one time? Yeah, I think it's probably just, you know, a lot younger kids. Yeah. We're the only adults doing this, I think. Mm-hmm. I use the term adults loosely. Yeah, I was just going to say... <laughs> Would you rather be hated by your friends hated. or be loved by everyone you hate? <laughs> mm. By loved, does that mean like sexually? I guess it means any any form of love, yeah. Because if they just love you, then that's not bad, right? Well, it's not bad in any way if you're loved in any aspect. Yeah. Unless it's to an obsessive degree. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Or if everyone was like, hey, Liam, uh, I was just looking on Twitter the other day and uh, Hitler just tweeted that he loves you. What the fuck? You know, I'd be like, well, what did you, what did you do? That. Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. What did you do that Hitler loved so much? I don't know. I just don't like him. There must be something. He's one of the people that I hate. There must be something that you did. Yeah, exactly. You know what they'd be like. They'd be like, oh, you'd support Hitler. I'm like, no, it ain't supports me. That like, oh, That's even worse. Yeah, that is worse. I thought he was dead. Well. No, they brought know. him back to life because his son needed to shave his ass. <laughs> right now, oh. I knew this would happen. Fuck it now. <laughs> and not only that, but he figured out what Twitter was because he's best friends with Elon now because he <laughs> hated him. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and now he's on my case saying he loves my <laughs> Uh I feel like I already am loved by people that I hate. And the oh, people that yeah. I hate yeah. are my family. Hmm. No, I love my family. Wink. I love members of my family. You know who you are. <laughs> and the ones you don't love. You Ain't know watching this you. anyway. So you know fuck who you. you are. Yeah. Uh, You're all pricks. Liam told me about you. Yeah. Jeremy. That's my kids, mate. Mm. Yeah. Liam told me about you, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. He hates you, Jeremy. I don't know who Jeremy is. <laughs> he, actually, Jeremy, why do you bring that up? My cousin Jeremy shot himself in school. Oh, what yeah. with? A gun. And then they made a music video about him, which I thought was really inappropriate. What's it called? Jeremy by Project. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> <laughs> that was my cousin, man. <laughs> He came to school today. <laughs> <laughs> and he shot himself. Clearly, I remember picking on that boy. But he was a harmless little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but we unleashed the lion. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mashed his teeth on the recess of a lady's breast. How could I forget? Stop That's it. That's my cousin Jeremy. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 
All right. Uh... But yeah, um, I'd rather be loved. Why would anybody want to be hated? Plus, are they your friends if they hate you? Like, what's no. the, what sort of friendship are you maintaining? Exactly. I'd assume that most of my friends hate me anyway. Most of the time. Yeah, you'd probably... But then they tell me they love me, and I'm like, I don't believe you. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. very insecure. <laughs> yeah. And I, I don't... Can see, I can see that. Um... Thank you. <laughs> Your insecurities just shine through you, Liam. Wow, most people would rather be hated by hated. their friends. That's because people don't like... I was just about to say that's because people don't like the people they hate, but that's self-explanatory. But it's it's yeah, it's just like this thing like today, like people are like, oh, I hate this person, and then anyone that would you, they wouldn't even play devil's advocate for him. You know what I mean? It's like people are like, oh, Trump. I'm like, yeah, but you know, he is funny. Yeah, you're not wrong. He is funny. That's, that's well, that's the, that's Shane the good Gillis. thing about Shane Gillis, isn't it? He always Gally. pulls pulls attention to. You might not like him, but the stuff he does is is quite funny. Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that he was running for president uh, and trying to control the country, yeah. then this would all be quite funny stuff. Or it's funny in spite of that, actually. Yeah. I always feel like you know, he wouldn't really be controlling the country anyway. If he was like, oh, I'm going to you know, do all this crazy shit. You know, the people in the shadows would be like, uh, can you just stand next to that grassy knoll over there, mate? He'd be like, all right. <laughs> Thanks, we're going to play football. Uh, yeah. All right, um, what's the next one? Uh, would you rather eat 90 fried worms or a cow kicks you in the stomach every 10 minutes? For how long, though? Like every 10 minutes for the rest of your life? Yeah, for the rest of your life, but just for a day. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, which is for the next twenty minutes. <laughs> um, if if a cow does kick me, can we make it into a sporting event? Can I monetize this? No. Be like, come and see Liam get kicked by a one a cow. You can monetize it, but all of the money goes to him. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no. Okay, all of the money goes to your ex girlfriend. That's all right. I don't mind that. I'm a nice guy. You're a mug, is what you are, mate. Yeah, I'm a simply <laughs> mug. <laughs> so she, I've been told that. You, you fucking simp, bro. Sim, you you sigma fucking, male bitch. Yeah. What are you Where's your cunt? alpha energy? You, you would know, give the money to Hitler. Yeah, you don't get laid. <laughs> <laughs> you little cock. Um, I'd just eat 90 fried worms. I don't think that's that bad. Yeah, and I assume the cow's just kicking me because I chose the pig over him earlier anyway. So fuck yeah. that. I'm going to eat my fried worms with my pig, mate. Yeah. And there ain't a thing you can do about it. In fact, the fried worms are the tapeworm that came out of the pig while you were having sex with it. Yeah, but it's fried, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, yeah, so you're not going to... No. It's not going to get any worse, isn't it? Exactly. Nothing bad's happening out of that situation. Plus, it's probably good protein. Yeah, I reckon it is. Good source of protein. Uh, there's a, there's a, I get, I've got a lot of um, like Nigerians and and Zimbabweans that work because I work in care, that work mm. where I work, and they tell me about this dish that's like fried grubs or fried worms or something like that, like that, and I find it really strange, but they they insist that it's delicious. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture of it. Hello, Google. African worm feed. There you go. That's it. No, yeah, they don't look too bad. They don't look too... well. I mean, it know. looks like you remember the Lion King when uh, Timon and Pumbaa eat bugs with Simba, and yeah, they like eat all the bugs. As a kid, I used to be like, God, those bugs are pretty good. Yeah, but that's Have just that Disney draws food really well. 
Yeah, I was like, those are some tasty looking bugs. Tasty looking bugs. And then you got what are they called? Mopane Mopane worms, scientifically known as Gunim barasa bilina, emerge from nutrient dense food source with potential to combat undernutrition, packed with essential proteins, healthy fats, a spectrum of vitamins and minerals. These worms offer a holistic nutritional package. I don't know, man. I mean, this just sounds like the alpha thing to do. It does, doesn't it? I'm going to start eating worms. I'm going to start fundraising for Hitler. Because <laughs> you're alpha. Because I'm an alpha dog. Because you're an alpha now. Yeah. Yeah. This is, I'm going to rename the show How to Become an Alpha. Yeah. And I'm going to take losers just like you, right? And we're going to turn them <laughs> little by little into alphas, you know? I mean, look at my gaff, mate. Look how, how big it is. I mean, look at mine. That is my house. Everything you see is what I live in. Nice. You see that? There? That's my yeah. cook. <laughs> the yeah. only thing you're not seeing is my bed. But it's literally right next to it. And then that's my life. Looks good, man. But it's my kingdom. Yeah. You know? Like Cody Rhodes. You this got a double or a kingdom. single bed. Double. I can't sleep in a single bed anymore. Oh, oh Mr. Mr. It. Posh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I sleep in a single bed. Yeah. Yeah. I did. But then I got a double, assuming that I'd be bringing people home and just had a double ever since. It's such a nice assumption to make about yourself, knowing full well that yeah. that's never been the case, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I was quite arrogant. <laughs> no. I've See, always had sex in other people's beds, no mind. Oh, own. yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, See, I knew that I'd never be bringing anyone home because I'm just not as arrogant as you. Yeah, I'm an arrogant fuck. You're a disgrace, mate. I'm a disgrace to human rights. <laughs> um, 90 worms. Are we going with 90 worms? Yeah. There is no benefit in getting kicked by a cow. Well, I mean, like, every 10 minutes as well. Like, imagine being in the middle of... You you couldn't hold your poo for long enough and you're just on the toilet yeah. and a cow walks yeah. in and just bucks up and whacks you. Yeah, the I'd be like, come on, I need a break. He's like, no, no toilet break. So you just kick to you in the head. Yeah. Someone finds you dead on the toilet with a fucking heath in your head. Not a yeah. cow. And a half-finished poo. Yeah. That'd be the worst. Cow's like, I didn't do it. <laughs> he owed me money. <laughs> yeah. He didn't have didn't... sex with me. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. 80% agree. Okay. Would you rather have a girl give you a rim job or have a girl spit your own cum oh, into your yeah. mouth after giving you a blow job? Blow job. All right. Uh, Cum's not very nutritional, so I've been told. So I, like, I've heard it is. You don't? It's got to be more nutritional than eating someone's breakfast, you know? Yeah. Or them eating yeah, breakfast. because they've taken all the nutrition out of it, haven't they? Yeah. Mm. But, oh, they're eating your breakfast anyway. Exactly. But it's definitely more yeah. nutritional Because it's that. not like... It's not like um, they they give you the blowjob. You're like, ah, oh, you gonna spit that in my mouth? That like, oh, I accidentally swallowed it, and you're like, oh, now I have to rim it out of your asshole. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's a much worse experience. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted that. Mm. Nobody did want. That. I am rimming cum out your asshole. Yeah. <laughs> so no. that doesn't sound fun. Like a fun. Yeah time so maybe i i would rather some girl spit come in my mouth i mean i've kissed a girl after i've come in her mouth mm. and it's definitely not all been clear but i don't know if i want the full load in there was it as salty as um as i've been told no it wasn't, it wasn't too too bad mm. it's fine but yeah. it was, mm. but also i don't want my future son 
<laughs> yum yum. <laughs> but also, I don't want to. I mean, I blow some pretty big loads, so I don't want all of that in my mouth. No. I'm no. talking big. Big donkey loads. Big donkey loads, mate. You ever seen Freddy Got Fingered? Yeah. Yeah, like the times. elephant from that. <laughs> what I love about that movie is that that is like a, essentially a Chekhov's gun because he wanks off the horse at the beginning and that leads into him wanking off the elephant at the end. It all comes yeah. in a circle. Yeah, so it's it's actually a very funny film. Yeah, I know. Underrated in my opinion. people are like, oh, this is awful, and like, I'm like, yeah, but that's the point. Like, yeah, you find it hilarious that they gave Tom Green a million in the first place, and he was like, I'm gonna make the worst movie ever. To me, that's fucking hilarious. But... <laughs> that's, that's very Tom. Like Green. I'd do. That's very Tom Green as well. That's yeah, his, yeah. that's his style of doing stuff. People just didn't really get it. No, it's, and. People don't give him the credit he deserves. I think he innovated quite a lot, you know. You you went up jackass without him. Yeah. And have you ever seen that when he had Joe Rogan when he was because what happened with Tom Green after he did his show is he um used to record at his home. Did essentially shows at his home. It was like the pre-concept for podcasts before podcasts were even a thing. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. And he interviewed Joe Rogan once before people really knew who Joe Rogan was. And Joe Rogan's just sitting around like, this is a good setup you have, man. And you can see all the cogs turning in Joe's brain. Like, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> and now he's Joe Rogan. Exactly. Runs the Joe Rogan experience. Mm. The Rogan Joe experience, as some call it. Yeah. Yeah. If you asked a Zoomer today, Tom Green is. Like, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Although he was, he was, he, yeah, he is funny. He was, I saw his recent one on Joe Rogan. He did a, did a recent one on there as well. Yeah. Really interesting guy as well. He is. I'll give it to any guy that slept with Drew Barrymore for a few months. Did he? Yeah, he was married to her for like five months. Was that like, as Drew was like a proper, like, party yeah, animal? Yeah, yeah. That's why um, he's in Charlie's Angels and she's in Freddy Got Fingered. She's in Freddy Got Fingered? Yeah, she's the one in, you know, where he goes to the production company to sell his cartoons? She's the woman. That he talks to, I think. Oh, um, not the one that he, the the one in the wheelchair that he. No, nah, that's not true, Baron. No. No. Which is also, a, which is also a very funny bit. No. Just smashing her legs just so that she could feel something. I know. I get weirdly aroused watching that every time. <laughs> yeah, I can I can understand that. Yeah. I'm like, gosh, she looks like a chick that's a bit cum in my mouth. <laughs> Maybe that's what she, I'm for. she also looks like a chick that would probably give you a rim job. Yeah. Now, let's be honest, this is the same chick, all right, that that's that we've got here. It's the same person. It's just what you're gonna ask her to do. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna ask her to do, Liam? Am I paying for this? No, this is a, a free service. Okay. Let's say the only way that you pay is with love. Girl, give me a rim job. Is this you know, so I forgot a wipe, or is this because... No, she just likes know. licking buttholes. All right. So I'm doing it for her, essentially, and not the other way around. I feel like you'll probably get some enjoyment out of it. Okay. I mean, that does sound like an experience. Yeah, I, I, you've got one of those faces that says you'd probably enjoy a rim job. I, I might. It's not. I didn't mean I'm it. In a, it. I didn't mean it in a bad way. I just meant like you, 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 no. know, you know. I mean, it's I'm a kinky good. son of a gun. It's supposed to rim jobs are supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be good times. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably go with the rim job. I don't want, not like in a homophobic way. I just. Don't think I'd like cum. I don't like the dexterity of it. 
Yeah. I don't like the way it kind of smells like chlorine. Sometimes it does, yeah, Sometimes, I know what you mean. you know Yeah. that? Yeah, Depends no. what you've been eating. Yeah, no. Reminds me of going swimming with my dad. Oh. Uh, you know? I'm like, oh, it reminds me of my dad's come. Every time I, every Every time, time we went swimming, it'd be cock in my face. every time I come, it reminds me of swimming with my dad. You just, uh, just roll over after having sex and swimming with my dad. Yeah. I'm like, this faintly smells like chlorine. <laughs> Must be all those drugs he's taking. Must be all the chlorine. Oh wait, no, it's just what. Well, that's why. That's why they get chlorine. They just fill the swimming pool with cum. Yeah. It's Full cummy water. dads come together. We're cleaning out this water. Oh. Do you reckon if you if you could come in if there was enough cum to fill a swimming pool, it would be like when they did that fill a swimming pool full of custard on Brainiac, Mm, maybe. and you'd be able to just run across it. How many cums do you think would fit up a swimming pool? Oh, let's wait. <laughs> Well, given your record, it'd probably be five, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, average I thought you were going to type average sized cums. I'm going to uh, but this is just what we're going for first Right, let's so do the maps. yeah yeah I don't think anybody's asked this question. so 10 feet by 20 feet 10 feet by 20 feet but it's not got the depth I'm guessing the depth is like 6 feet Yeah, six feet. So ten by twenty by six. Ten by twenty by six equals ten times twenty, two hundred, two hundred times six is uh two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, Who do ten. we annihilate? Twelve thousand no one thousand one thousand two hundred cubic feet of water. That's a lot of cum. Which is something I've assumed you heard a lot. That's Yeah. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, okay. <laughs> fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, and then, what is it? What Then is we're the going average on cum, Sam? average ejaculation. Oh, ejac. Oh, ejaculation volume by age. Oh, shit, by age. Okay. Volume, oh, volume in, in what? In miller, miller liters, miller liters. Jesus Christ. Okay, so from 20, let's say that it's the youngest one, so 29 to 35. Uh, oh, wait, no. Let's just say it's the most, but there's a good, there's quite a big standard deviation. Yeah. Hey, Uh, so... 2.74 milliliters oh okay let's ask chat GPT Why not? Chat GPT is probably going to be like, ah, oh, another person asking me this every day with this question. <laughs> if a swimming pool is, is Can I phone a friend? Can I ask Travis? Hey, Travis, got a question for you. ten foot How many loads by twenty foot does it take to fill up swimming pool? six foot by six foot Um, how many, how much, how many much water in milliliters will it fit in it? Cubic feet. So... So it will hold approximately thirty three million nine hundred ninety eight 
thousand milliliters of water. Okay, so yeah. now what we've got to do is uh, divide that by two points two point seven four. So it would take uh, roughly over 12 and a half, roughly under 12 and a half million loads to fill yeah. a swimming pool. Can you get 12 and a half million dudes? I mean, I probably could get about 10 good guys. <laughs> just to come. Just get 10 good guys. Times. You don't need 12 million. You just need 10 good guys, man. Yeah. I don't even think I've come a million times. No, definitely not. Maybe a couple thousand. Do you reckon a thousand? A couple thousand? Yeah, I've been doing it since I was 10. <laughs> since you were 10? Yeah, I've been jacking off since I was 10. Yeah, but you've not been, surely you've not been coming all that time. Yeah. Since 10? I was an, yeah, I was an early bloomer. Fucking I hit hell. puberty about 10. Fucking hell, man. I yeah. don't think I've, I think the first time I came was when I was 13. Yeah, I remember that because before I initially came, it was just like a throbbing and ex a really ex excellent throbbing. <laughs> mm. And then eventually it was like spitting everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, good time. Yeah, my mum's ex would have those car magazines. Remember the car magazines? I the remember. Those ladies. Yeah, I wouldn't be looking at those for the car. <laughs> That's sort of how I started my journey. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> journey. So we're going for the, the, the rim job. Yeah, rim job. The blow uh, come it's too much maths. I don't like maths. Sixty six percent of people would go for the rim job. Mm. Um okay, we'll make this last one. All right. Would you rather I know when people get sick of me, it's all right. Uh, I well you would have noticed about ten minutes in then. Oh, <laughs> Chill out, man. Um, you want me to make you a tea? No, thanks, man. I've had enough tea now. Okay. My tea's right. not good enough. These are only supposed to be about one fifteen to one thirty minutes long, anyway. So. Okay. I uh, thought this was a special Liam episode. I apologize. Oh uh, no worries. Uh, thanks for apologizing, though. Um, would you rather? <laughs> Would you rather have a th have thirty million dollars and can only buy chewing gum, or have one million dollars and can only buy food? Again, with his <laughs> and only buy chewing gum. Uh, are they the chewing gum and the cool collectible cards? Um. Hubba Bubba. Let's call it Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba. You want Hubba Bubba? I feel like if you've got $30 million of product, even if you've got that much, you can mm. sell it for at least half, and then you've yeah. got $15 million. And then million. That, that doesn't count as the money that you would, you know, use on chewing gum. Yeah. So you could essentially have the $30 million to buy on chewing gum, um, buy all the chewing gum, fool people into thinking like that's like the spice melange of the universe, you know, because you own all of it. This is what they did with diamonds, by the way. That's okay. a whole, that all the diamonds are just owned by one family. Yeah. So you you can essentially do that with chewing gum, and be like, you get married. Uh, yeah, uh, engagement rings are made out of chewing gum now. That's how engagement rings were invented, because the rich people who own all the diamonds were like, all we can do is sell these diamonds to rich people. How do we sell it to poor people? Engagement rings were invented. Genius. Genius. It is genius. I'd do that with chewing gum. That is a good shot. Or counter, what you do is you, you go in somewhere and you're like, I've got 30 million. I want to buy 30 million's worth of chewing gum, but because I'm buying it in bulk, I want a way better deal. And they'll be like, cool. This is like, probably equates to about 100 mil 
worth of chewing gum. Here you go. You can have it for 30 million. Excellent. Exactly. Thank you very much. I've got 100 million's worth of chewing gum. I'll sell it back to you for 20 million. And they're like, oh, okay, well, that's a good deal. And then you've just got 20 million dollars. Yeah. You've missed or you out. Could on... Start like a whole chewing gum pyramid scheme. You could. You could do that. It could be the best tasting chewing gum that ever lived. It could be the most nutritious chewing gum that ever happened. And plus, ocean chewing gum has a good life to it. It lasts a while, so it ain't going to go off. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you saw those people in Florida that stole like a million dollars worth of milk. Of milk? Yeah, milk. A <laughs> bunch of dipshits. I'm like, they're, because they were like, yeah, we're going to get millions off a million amount of milk. Uh, it's going to go off in like a month. Yeah, yeah. Idiots. Yeah. What a bunch of twats. That's how des that's how desperate people are though, that they, they don't think through what they're doing. They're just like, Yeah, there's a million in there. We just need to be able to sell it. Uh and then when you're desperate, you overestimate how good you are at things. Like I bet none of these people have ever sold milk in their lives. No. They were like, Oh, we were chewing gum salesmen. Shit. Yeah. We don't know how to you're sell milk. <laughs> we don't know how to sell milk. If only this was gum. Ah. Oh. Nobody wants to buy something with a dead kid on the front of it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I feel like 30 millions worth of chewing gum. Like, if you bought that... Where would I'd you keep it? You'd have a, like, a storage locker for a chewing gum? Yeah, but you wouldn't, be able to, for chewing gum? you wouldn't be able to afford the storage unless you paid the company in gum. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, I can't afford to store this gum, and then it rains and contaminates all your gum. You know? Or a million in food, normal food. Yeah. I, that does sound like the more reasonable answer. It seems like less work, doesn't it? Yeah. I feel like I've eaten a million dollars worth of food and I quite enjoyed it. So I wouldn't mind doing it again. I feel like a million's worth of food because you'd get a million, you put that in one bank and then you just do your food shop with that and then save the money from what you don't spend in your bank. Just put that into a different savings account. By the time you spent that million, you've saved a million in food's worth and you've got a million. Yeah. If I had a million in food, I'd spend half of it on milk, and I'd be like, I've got half a million. Yeah, man. And uh, I've got all this milk that I can sell. I, If I'd stolen that milk, I would have just... <laughs> there's no way you'd be able to get rid of it. So you'd just... No, like it's a, the dumbest thing. They're yeah. from Florida, so it makes sense. Oh, uh, okay. You'd yeah. just have to end up drinking it, wouldn't it? You'd just be drinking milk. Well, milk. What yeah. happens if you're lactose intolerant? You'd be... God, such a dumb idea. Now I'm dying. <laughs> then there'd be like breadcrumbs of shit all the way to the to the tanker that you'd stolen. <laughs> Just a man drinking milk. Um, what do you what do you reckon then? The the one million dollar of food? Yeah, one million and a rim job. Let's go. Um, one million and a rim job. Seventeen percent of people. Most people would go for the thirty million. That's just because they see bigger number and go, dude, I want the bigger number. Yeah, they've not thought this through. They didn't they're think not. about the chewing gum. No. They certainly didn't think about starting some chewing gum selling mafia organization, billionaire, Dune-esque conspiracy or intergalactic thing like we did. Monopoly, yeah, exactly. Um, the chewing yeah, gum no. ones of Arrakis. <laughs> I noticed you made... You made a Dune reference in something the other day, and I took note of it. Yeah, it, was, it was in your set. It was yeah, it was a large pulpit, and I was the only one that was like, eh. "Yeah, yeah." I'm a big uh, fucking nerd. <laughs> my uh, yeah, because my my I, part of it is that uh, I bought the person a ant farm. And yeah, she killed them, and I said an end to the house ant tradies. Ant tradies, that was it. Yeah. I, do, I appreciate that term. I just Thank want you. To yeah. I usually, I, I usually only, usually only a few people get it. Yeah. But I like the joke, so I keep it in. Yeah. I like it. Good, man. Good. Uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming on, man. It's been fun. Anytime.
Anytime, man. Yeah, all day, every day. This is where you'll find me. So... I'm so alone. <laughs> <laughs> I just play this by myself. I've been doing that all day. Uh, have you... Oh, um... God, when's my next gig? You, oh, wait, well, you've already said, haven't you? You can say it again because we didn't record it. All right, my next gig is at the uh, Rise in June on Saturday. Ah, uh, and you're doing your previews, aren't you? Yeah, doing my previews in June. The first one will be on the set for the Ale House in Ferrum, hosted by Emma Ashley King, Ooh. starring me and Travis Booth Miller. Lovely job. Every tickets, going to be a good night. Free yeah. people. Making you laugh. What else can you ask for? I can't ask for anything else because I'm not that kind of man. I'm happy with what I get. Okay. That sounds good. like a good deal. You know? Good. Good stuff, man. All right. Well, it's been fun, man. Uh thanks for thanks for joining in. No problem. I'm probably yeah. just gonna jack off now or something. Okay, well, you know, um don't come in your own mouth. I try not to. Or save it and then we'll we'll buy a pool. Oh yeah, do. yeah, true. I might save my cums now. <laughs> okay, man. How many cums is a genocide? I don't know. You ever think about that? Just the one. It's gotta be just the <laughs> one, isn't it? Just it's, the one. It's like a just the one that clearly you had it won't be long. Beautiful yeah. day waste away. Now I'm seeing the levelers. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, mate. I'll see you later. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers man. Bye.